everybody. I'm on my way to go pick up my friend Sarah, and we're heading out to a new Goodwill out in the town of Palala, Oregon. Can't wait to see what we find. So here we are, and it's 50% off all the yellow tags today. I thought this was a cute chair. It would go nicely in my space if I had room for it. Otherwise, I don't sell furniture and I have no room for any more furniture at my house, unfortunately. This is a nice little coffee table for only $4.99. I could use a little refinishing. And $79.99 isn't that bad for a leather sofa, although I'm not sure that if it's real or imitation leather, but still it would look nice in someone's home. Sarah found this chair and pointed it out to me. It may look very nice in my antique space, but alas, I told you right now I have no room in it. This is a very pretty little creamer, and for only 99 cents. Here's another creamer. Studio Pottery. Very nice. This lidded casserole dish caught my eye, very vibrant and beautiful. This would be very nice to have in my space for spring. It's just around in the corner. There are a lot of fun bee themed things on the yellow end cap today. I probably should have picked this little scarecrow up. He was only a dollar fifty, and I think he probably would have sold in my antique space. I really like these little green martini glasses, although this one is chipped, but the other two aren't. I looked them up, and there's a set of seven for $54.99, so I figure it's worth it. This corn husk planter basket is a good find. There are a lot of dogs out today, particularly boxers. I think someone donated their collection. I thought these guys were really fun and I didn't look them up till I got home and it looks like I probably should have purchased them for resale because $12 isn't a bad price with that markup. I found this little Otagari owl, but I decided not to get him because I already have one in my space that hasn't sold yet. But then I noticed later that Sarah had that in her cart. Good for her.
these trivets are a good find. I couldn't find a price on these little wooden apple bowls. I did pull them apart and looked inside as well, but it wasn't there, so I ended up passing on them. I'm really regretting not grabbing this little globe for only $3.99. I passed on it because of the Better Homes and Gardens sticker on the bottom, but it still would look really nice in a bookcase with, styled with some books. I liked this wooden plaque. Here's two of them for $20, but they're much smaller. And I thought these candlesticks would look really cool. Unfortunately, they were meant for rounded candles rather than taper candles, and I chose to pass. I love this little egg separator guy. Definitely coming home with me. Well, this is an exciting find for only 99 cents. I really toyed with buying this studio pottery bowl, platter, fruit bowl, but I decided to pass because I can just try to make my own. Well, Valentine's Day is just around the corner and I thought this would look really pretty in the antique space. I love this little soapstone circle of friends. Platter is absolutely breathtaking. Look what I spotted in this cart that was getting ready to be put on the shelves. Cool score, huh? I ended up putting this guy back when I was at the checkout stand because unfortunately he had a big chip on his ear that I hadn't noticed previously. I thought this false graph pot was quite remarkable, but I ended up passing on it. So here's my haul. So I'll start off showing you that I found this little corn husk basket that you could put your plants in or you could use it for utensils or something or whatever. But it was $6.99, but it was half off of that, so it was like $2.50. I also found these two corn husk little trivets that were $1.99 each. And I like to use these for hot dishes at the table. I also found this uh, for $2.99. It's a corn husk placemat, but I thought this could look nice as a centerpiece as well on the dining room table. I also found this woven shell basket. I see the, I've seen these before at uh, flea markets and antique stores. And this one was $4.99. And when I looked it up, they sell for about $20 to $30. I found this, I thought this was very pretty. A, um, it can be used as a vase or a votive holder. It was $3.99 and I saw these online for about $20, I think. And I found this uh, Italian ashtray and um, I think it might be Cape de Monte, but I'm not sure. It doesn't say it, but I also have the tag on the bottom. It was $3.99. When I take that off, it might say something, but it has a similar signature as some of the ashtrays that I saw. And these are going for about $20, I'd say, online. I found this Hershey's Kiss candy dish, cut glass. And since Valentine's Day is right around the corner, I thought this would look very nice in my antique space. And it was $6.99. I see them online for about $20. I bought this as a present for my sister-in-law, Jill, because she loves Mexican pottery, especially to drink her margaritas out of. And this is cute. You could do a margarita in here and have a little handle, or you could drink coffee or whatever. But it was only $3.99, and these go for about 
$15 online. I found this little soapstone um, circle of friends for $1.99. And I see these going for about $20. This guy I thought was pretty cool. He's a 1970s candle is what he is, owl. But um, he was $4.99. And if you burn the candle or you can get it out of there, you can even just put little tea light or votive in there. And there are owl collectors out there, I being one of them, but I'm still going to try to sell him first. He's thinking for about $20 online. And I paid $4.99. I found this little um, Oregon Myrtle Wood perfume decanter, canister, whatever. It has the glass in it. And then you unscrew the lid and it smells like perfume in there that someone's used it. It was only 99 cents and they're going on sale. I saw one that had sold for $50 online, but I would say average about $20 to $35. And my friend Laura Caldwell from Left Coast Revivals collects these. Well, she has a couple of them and that's what introduced me to them. So that was a cool find for 99 cents. I also found this beautiful Nippon hand-painted plate. And it was half off of $4.99, so it was $2.50. And I saw one online for like $75. I just think it's gorgeous. The painting is just beautiful. I'll probably hang it on my wall for a while and then end up selling it after I get my use out of it. These are super cute. I don't know if they're mid-century or not. I saw some online for mid-century little green martini glasses. They were $0.99 cents each. I'll put them in the space. I do really well with glassware there. But if they don't sell, hmm, I'll have them on St. Patrick's Day. We'll have martinis. Uh, let's see. This guy here is an egg separator. I learned about these guys from my mom. Her friend is a potter and she made her one. And my daughter does not like egg yolks. She is 17 and she's never, once she picks them out of boiled eggs and she won't eat fried eggs with them and she will just not eat scrambled eggs if they have yolk in them. So I thought this would be good for her because she is not as good at separating the yolks. And actually, I'm not that great either. Sometimes I make a mess. So I thought this would be fun to try a little yolk se separator. And then also, as you know, I'm a potter and I can use him as a sample if I ever want to make them. So he's staying with us. And then I just happened to be walking by the cart where they were restocking. And I saw this uh, Royal Hagar cat in there for $3.99. I mean, I was sad he doesn't have his bowl. But they're still going online anywhere from 20 to, I even saw one for like $115, which I think is a little high, for them without the bowl. So I thought he was just really neat. I was really happy I found him. I also found this Christmas sweater imprint cookie maker, but I use these in my pottery making. So that'll be fun. I can start doing stuff this year for Christmas which is, goodness sakes, we just had it, but you never can get prepared too early. This guy I thought was cool. I like a lot of um, boho hippie stuff, and he's from the 1990s. And I paid $3.99 for him, and I saw one online that was very similar by the same maker for $29.99. I don't know if I forgot to tell you that I spent $4.99 on this. These go for about $10. I'm not sure if this is a terrarium or not, but it um, you could put a candle in it maybe, I would assume, unless it suffocates it out because there's not much oxygen. But you could put crystals in it or you could put an air plant or a little succulent. And I just thought it was really cute and it was $2.99. I saw one online for $30. I'm not so sure that this one's vintage or not. The one online was not, but I don't know brass is in and it's it's kind of a cool little thing and I bought this spoon rack for it was half off of $4.99 I got it for $2.49 and I just thought it was really pretty one of the other viewers told me that I could use it for hanging jewelry and I thought that was such a great idea so I'll probably um, oil this up and then use it in my room to hang jewelry from and then I also bought this pretty substantial wood plaque with the decoupage on it from the 1970s for 
I'll throw it in the space and see if someone wants it. It's kind of cool. And then I also bought myself a little jean jacket and it was $9.99, but it's really soft. It's not made out of denim. It's kind of like the, the jeggings. It's like a jegging jacket. So I thought that was nice. And then um, I also found this really cool poncho for $9.99, but it has sleeves in it. So I thought that was fun. So I'll have to wash these up so that I can wear them. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, maybe you could give it a like or a thumbs up. And if you like this content, maybe subscribe to my channel. And if you're already subscribed, I so appreciate you so, so very much. Thanks so much for watching my video. Bye-bye.